hi guys so this is my analysis update on dxy guys before we do today's analysis i'm just going to do a quick recap on dxy so what was i predicting on dxy i was predicting a buy on dxy i think if i remember vividly well we were around this area right here so i said two either ways right because of this trauma right here if i zoom out a little bit we can see this is the significant trend line because we've reacted around that multiple time and rejected so i said there's a possibility that we might reject around that trend line that's a possibility as well and that is because of it might give us like a possible dot search of the trend line that we might see some sort of like a time to the downside and i said if that happens based on how we say it then my tp area should be right around this area right here and i also said again that we might see buy and it's because of we currently rejecting around my 61.8% fib level right and if you're watching my videos you know my negative 61.8% fib level is a reversal zone slash area for me so most of the time whenever we get to 61.8% fib level or my negative 27% fib level there is some sort of like a reversal around that area does it happen all the time no but most of the time it does so now that we can see that we are currently pushing to the upside right but we did not even get to my target yet because my target was 102.993 that was my initial target but there's still a possibility we might get there to be honest so in case you guys are still on this trade i would advise to put your um trading profit in profit because anything can happen right yeah i still see momentum of a buy here but we can see right around this area right here and we can see if i draw a zone let me delete this one here delete this as well so if i draw a mini zone right here just for us to see right here we can see that we might start reversing around that area right so that's a possibility so if you're in this trade is it that and if you still want to stick with the trade I will advise you to either put your trade in profit or close the trade because right now anything can happen based on how we've seen that this is a significant error right here right so now just like you know like to do top down analysis it just make things more clear and easier so what am i be you're still predicting to at least push to the downside based on what we are seeing on a bigger time frame remember this is the weekly time frame on a bigger time frame so i still predict it to at least touch down to maybe this imbalance right here there is this imbalance right here but because we had interday trader we can always take smaller trades along the way so now let's go to my daily time frame and see nothing has changed yet apart from the fact that um we are reversing to the upside right and overall right now we can see that we reached out on this 61.8 percent fib level with the doji candlestick right and i see momentum of sell we see right here there's the momentum of this cell right here but because we are currently around this area right and it's also it's also filling this gap if you see right here we can see this gap right here is kind of filled out so the gap filled right so but if you're pushing to the upside for any reason right at least we might push at least i'm predicting overall remember this is the daily time frame overall to at least get to this level right here which is 103.142 i'm still predicting at least get to that level because that is where we have this break of structure right here and there is also an imbalance right here that needs to be filled imbalance that needs to be filled right here so we have to be mindful of that as well and that is why like if you're pushing to the buy which i think we would just because we are currently rejecting our 61.8 percent fib level that will be like a very good target but also be mindful of 102 be mindful of this area which is 102.992 and my reason is because if i zoom out a little bit we can see that that's also a good crucial area right there 
you can see that we've rejected around that area quite a number of time so there's a possibility that we might get to this level right here reject give us a touch of this trend line then bounce to the downside so we will be mindful of this area so this new area right here will be our first point of interest to be mindful of then it, that becomes invalid then certainly this will be our second point of interest so let's go to my four hour time frame and see what we are looking forward to so we can see that we had this bull candlestick right here that engulfed this previous candlestick right but we can see right now that the momentum of the candlestick right now it's not that solid and that is why i'm saying that if you're in this trade it's advisable for you to take how to your trade take put your trade in profit or at least close it because we haven't reached here right here so because like i said i still see a possibility of a question to the upside but we don't react to the market sorry we don't predict the markets we react to the market so let's go to my smaller time frame and see i can draw a, tr a trend line a small counter trend line right here just to see let's uh Go to my 12 hour time frame. Let's address this. So we have different instance right here, right? For us to sell, at least I want some break of structure, right? Some break of trend line. Retest the trend line, give us a lower high for us to know that it's a breakout and not a fake out so some sort of like a verification for us to actually continue to thank to the downside and if we do certainly 102.358 will be my tp area right there but let's go to a much smaller time frame so i can ex we adjust this and extend this right here break up zone right even if I use this, if I do a mini line right here to from here to here, just to show that we currently broke out of this zone right here with this engulfing candle. With this engulfing candle, so I'm, exp I'm predicting some sort of like a retracement to the downside. So we can see an impulse broke out of this trend line right here. I'm predicting some sort of like a retracement around this level then we might continue to tank to the upside and that is why i said that even if you break this trend line right here let's be mindful because it might just be some sort of like a push to the downside right here to possibly retest the zone then continue to push to the upside so we have to be really mindful even when it breaks so that we won't be caught up in a fake out right so we can see and we can also put this point right here and show that we are currently around this break of structure right here so let's see okay so let's write the text and see that that's a break of structure So we're currently around this break of structure right here, right? So that's a good enough way that we might actually thank to the upside right there, right? So there's still a possibility for it to actually push down right here to give us some sort of like a W, which is a reversal pattern. Reversal chart pattern. Then we might continue to thank to the downside. So those are like kind of like the possibility I'm looking forward to you. Because certainly, just like, look at this right now, right? So we see around my smaller time frame, we have this engulfing candlestick. Let's go to my smaller time frame. So there's a possibility for a push to the downside, to be honest. 
and despite the fact that we can see we can also draw this zone right here that we've been reacting around the zone quite a number of time and we have not been able to close up around that zone we can see so that also shows the possibility of a pushing to the downside right so i'm just gonna give my few instances let's go to 15 minute time frame and see based on this candlestick right here i see momentum of it actually dropping let's see from point a here to point b So these are the instances I currently have. Let's adjust this. Based on this candlestick card, I see a momentum of it actually dropping. And this is why I like to do top-down analysis. Because it just helps simplify the market. Right? For you to know, especially especially the fact that we are day traders so we can always you see in my smaller time frame i can see in my bigger time frame so if you see my one hour time frame this is just like a weak weak rejection right it's not giving a lot of momentum right here and sometimes we can see that it's my fallout of this area right here based on the price action i'm seeing on the uh, one hour for us to tank to the upside right but we can see that because we're an intraday day trader if you push to more smaller time frame then there's a possibility for you to see a little bit more clearer right we can see that because we're rejecting around this area multiple time there is also a possibility of it actually dropping to the downside right and if you are dropping to the downside certainly right here this will be my first tp which is my negative 27 percent fib level 102.776 so if i zoom out a little bit we might push down here to give us a thought a possible third touch of the trend line before we see a movement to the upside that if it continues to push to the upside right and we shouldn't forget as well that there is this imbalance right around this area right here break of structure and also an imbalance of this candlestick right here from here to here is an imbalance right here that needs to be fueled which also aligns with my negative 27 percent fib level so there's a possibility that we might actually get to that level right here before tanking to the upside as well so that's a possibility that's why in the market you have to be open-minded and see the market the way the market is based on the price action so now i'm just going to draw my instance my first instance certainly is around this area right here so this will be my first tp let's change the color my second tp depending on how the market react around my first tp will determine if i'm going to ride it to my second tp so let's use a price tag one or two that this is fine let's go to my second tp right here which is okay so like i said i'm just going to do a quick recap there's a possibility that we might get to this level before tanking to the upside right or there's a possibility depending on how the market reacts around this area because remember we still have this imbalance right here so there's a possibility that it might eat my negative 61.8% fib level but we might continue to tank to the upside or just continue to tank to the downside based on the momentum so we're not going to analyze way too much to the future right we're just going to take it one step at a time so for us to continue to actually buy because there's a possibility for it buy just like i mentioned let's delete this one now let's adjust this one closer to our current price market so which is one nine two Let's address the other one as well. Just in case you're pushing to the upside, like I said, anything can happen in the market. So that is why I'm very open-minded to have various um, opportunities. So if you're pushing to the upside, because there's a possibility that we might just come here, break this zone right here with a good engulfing candle, right? Then we might continue to tank to the upside. So based on that, I'm going to put a scenario for us to actually buy let's see it at least breaking out a candlestick a good buy candlestick breaking out of the zone giving us some sort of like a momentum for us to continue to push the upside so this is my quick thought on the xy guys all this is insightful if you find it informative please don't forget to subscribe comment like share and i'll see you in my next analysis guys thank you for watching bye